welcome to Beginner's Bar. So all you'll need for this is a pair of hand weights and a high back chair. We're going to move that out of the way just to start with and place the weights down because we're going to start with warming up. So come to the middle of your space and hands on hips ready to move through into the legs. Bend the knees, lift, just a little pad down into the feet, whilst you take time to think about shoulder placement, ribs and that length through the spine. Hopefully you can hear the beat, good, keeping that drawing in sensation through your waist, arms come up, shoulders stay down and lengthen, and breathe. Last eight. Keep lifting out of the waist, then into a little twist. Elbow, elbow, across, across. Rotation. Make it small, keep the knees bent. Good, eight more. And breathe, last four. Breathe. Two, and one. Bring the hands down onto the hips, bend those knees just to reset. Then turn out the feet at the top of the leg into that first position. Well done. Keep going, little bends. Shoulders again down the back, connect. Straighten the legs, lift the heels. Up and down, sliding up and down the wall. Use those inner thighs, squeeze into your glutes. Then we're going to up the tempo. One, two, three, four. Good. Grow taller. Keep the balance. Use those calves. Warm up the feet and ankles. Well done. And last two and last one. Plie and stretch. Plie down, knees towards the toes. Good. Then we're going to use right leg. I'll use my left. You'll mirror me. Step out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Two more. Then we're going to add the arm for four more. Out and down. Ready? Other side without the arm. Yeah. Arm as well. We'll do that again. Other side without the arm. Think of that centre line. As you plie, transfer the weight. Arm as well. well done. Draw those inner thighs together. Change four. Three. Push down. Arm again, four, out, out, good. And last one, and in, well done. Take a step to the side, into second position. Toes turned out slightly, bend the knees, feel the tailbone underneath you. Feel yourself slide down the wall. Just little bends into that plie. Knees to toes, bring the hands into the center chest line. And breathe. Keep it low, tiny little pulses working those thighs. And then we're going to hold it still and lift alternate heels one at a time. Lift and lower. Work through the feet. Eight more. And breathe. Last four. Push the heels, the hands together. Both heels together. Lift them up. Two, three, four. Four more and then hold. Seven, hold eight. Plie, little pulse. Push, push. Five, six, seven, eight. Stretch. Lower those legs. Take a side bend. Over to the side and stretch. Come into the center. Other side. Bend one knee, stretch the other. Open out through the waist. One more each way. Between two panes of glass. 
over, frame the face and centre, and last one, and centre, toes face the front, come down, hold the elbows, bend those knees if you need to, relax into a swing, swish from side to side, breathe and let it go. Widen the legs if you need to. Take one hand across to the opposite foot and rotate and lift. Top arm to the ceiling, other side. Across, push that chest to the side of the room as you rotate. One more each way. Push into the hips as well. Move those hips. And last one. Reach up and walk the feet in. Roll up through the spine. Little stretch through the front of the leg. Open out the hip, lunge, keeping those hips parallel. Then bend that back knee. Really stretch through the front of the leg and thigh. Tucking under with the pelvis. Hold it here. Hands can be out in front here. Down on the hips. And then stretch onto the other side. Lunge out, push into the back heel. Stretching the calf. Bend the front knee to open out the hip. Feel the pull in through the tummy as you slightly tuck to the point where you then bend your back knee, brings it underneath the hip. Keep that tuck, hands on hips, shoulders down the back. And stretch. And grab hold of your weights. So we're gonna go on to arms. So this can be done with the heels down or the heels up. It's a little bit harder on balance and strength with the heels up, obviously. But you all turn out to a first position. At the top of the leg, no jamming of those knees. Really draw in through the glutes towards the sit bones. Shoulders down the back and pull in the core. So lifting your heels up slightly, you draw the heels together, push them together and resist, and then slightly drop down so you're not on the toe joints, you're just on the ball of the foot. Really work your inner thighs into your glutes. Keep that connection ribs to hips and we'll do the arms. So keep that lovely wide collarbone. And you lift the arms up. Catch up with the music a bit. Good. Going up. Slowly down, resist. Don't let the arms fall. Four more. Squeeze those inner thighs and push the heels together. Arms stay up, bend the elbows, reach and pull. Up, draw down. This is a really good one. Drawing those shoulder blades into your back pockets. And pull. Keep wide with the collarbone. Don't poke those ribs out. Hold it here, elbows forward and back. This really throws you off balance, so you really gotta get the grip through the waist. Down. Hold the arms out and then stretch out and lift. Shoulders down the back again, lengthen the ears away from the shoulders. Squeeze those legs, hold it here. Bounce, little elbow bounces, pulsing down the back. Grow taller, squeeze those legs, they'll start to warm up. Five, Six, seven, and release. Plie, relax. Ooh, roll the shoulders. <laughs> Bring the legs together. You're gonna swing forward and back. I'll do it slowly first, up and back. Then you go quick. Push, so palms face, palms push. Twist those wrists. Really press into the triceps and sit back onto a bench. We'll do a few more. Swinging through the arms and pressing through treacle. Good. Last lot. Then we're going to hold it down and pulse in that squat. Hold it here. Pulse the arms. One, two, three. Lift the leg. Alternate. Other side. Strong arms. Pull the tummy in, push, arms, arms, 
lift the leg. Push. Two, three, and lift. Into the backs of the arms. Good. Two, three, lift. Last one. Two, three, and lift. Good. Bring the legs together. So then we're going to just do the arms on their own and then we'll lift the heels and balance as well if you can. Forward, out, down. Forward, out, down. Quick. One, two, down. One, two, down. Hit those points. Forward side. Well done. Good. And last one. Good. So this can be done, we'll do it again, but on a rise. You want to click those heels together, squeeze the glutes, pull in, breathe, ready, and go. One, two, down. Go. That's it. Push those toes down. Down. Into the floor. Grow through the top of the head. Well done. Ready for reverse. And out to the side. Out, forward. Really test the feet. What are they up to? Are they busy? Keep going. Punch, punch. Out, forward. Last two. Last one. And lower down. Well done. It's the balance thing. Turn the toes out again. Palms go up. Shoulders down the back. Lift the heels. Draw the heels together. Drop down. Or you can be flat on the floor. Don't have to lift. Shoulders, and you're reaching on a diagonal, forward, reach, and down, out. So diagonally out from the shoulder. Pull in that tummy as you reach forward. Good. Hold the arms, bicep curl. Lift those elbows, keep them lifted. Good. Shoulders are down the back. You can feel those legs really adjusting. Good, well done. Two more. And we're going to go up to the ceiling in two counts. Up, two. Down, to second. Up, to fifth. Use your pelvic floor. Lift it, lift it. Hold it, hold it. Two more. Lift, up, down. Last one. And hold the balance. Well done. And lower down. I nearly lost it. Bring the legs together. Into triceps. Arms go behind you. Tap and push. Tap and push. So get hold of your centre. Ribs connected to hips. Squeeze your glutes so you don't go to your lower back and slightly tuck under. Push away. So the upper arm isn't really moving. You're just hinging from the elbow. Do four more. I lost count. Two. Exhale. And four. Well done. Last bit. Take the step to the side. Down into your plie and punch. Keep it low. Push the knees out towards the toes. Keep that tuck through the pelvis. And slide the hands along the shelf. Breathe. Pull the tummy in. Ready, up to tempo. Punch. Keep going, last lot. Eek. Five, six, ready to go slow with a twist. Cross, across. Try not to transfer the weight. Keep it low, if you wanna go lower, go lower. And slow. Slightly quicker. One, two. Make it smaller. Last lot. Don't worry. Last four. Six, seven, eight. And you're done. Whew. Roll the shoulders back. Place the weights down. Clasp the hands behind you and stretch. They should feel quite warm now. Do all the relaxing stretching that you need. Tap the hand on the back, lift the elbow up, and cross. And the same on the other side, lift, 
and across. Perfect. Ready for a bit of bar work. So draw your drag, drag your chair in. Okay, so feet are slightly turned out. Okay, so your plie down, lift, straighten and lower. Push the heels, lift the heels, keep them up. So you're rippling through the feet. Hand is on the hip, this hand is on the chair lightly. Now quick, go one, two, up. You can keep this slow if it's too much quick. Really use those inner thighs and pelvic floor. Push, we're gonna hold the heels up on this one. And plie, keep the tuck through the pelvis. Send the tailbone down, lift through the belly into the spine, belly button to spine. Keep it small, very, very small isometric exercises. Hold it here. Okay. Breathe, shoulders down the back. Five, six, seven. Now drop the heels, drop and lift, drop and lift. So you're not going anywhere with the body, it's just peeling the heels up and down. Makes the legs shake. Oh, yes, I can feel them. Last four. Good. Well done. And we're going to do three pulses and a side bend. So you go. And three, two, one straight and side bend. So three bends, one straight. Push those arms down into something. So you get that control through the shoulder and down the back. So if you feel the shakes, you know you're working. Keep moving through it. Well done, last one. Hold it here. And hands on hips. Then you're gonna go down, down, up, up. Make this small if your knees don't like it. And down, down up. Here's the shakes, down, down. Oh, I can feel it. Down. That's good. Two more. You go into that shaky space. You know it's working. Last one. Down. And stretch. Bring the heels together. Inner thighs tight. Balance. Squeeze your glutes. And release down. Ooh la la. Relax. We'll do a stretch after. Onto the other side. This time we're going to take a second position. So slightly wider with the feet. Again, arm is always in front of the shoulder, lightly resting. Plie, lift, straighten. Okay, so we'll start together. Go one, two, up, down. Plie, lift, out. Good, so you're keeping that lovely knee to toe position turned out. And we're going to make it faster if you want. Up to tempo. One, two, like a ripple. A lot of footwork, strengthening the ankles, really good for balance. Well done, last two. Hold it up and pulse again. Keep that tuck, feel the pulling through the tummy, slight tilt through the pelvis. Make it small, it doesn't have to go all the way up and down, just tiny. Well done, arm out. You go three, two, one side bend. Three, two, one side bend. Two, up and over. Breathe. Don't grab hold of the chair. Two more after this one. Two, slightly different on this side. Two, three, and up. Bring it down. So you're going to go down for two, up for two, down, down. Oh, there it goes. The shakes are on their way. Up, up. Don't come to a full straight leg. Up, up, down, down. Oh, two more. Breathe through it. As long as it's not painful, you can do it. Last one. And up. Stretch. Balance, well done, and release. Ah. 
Take a lovely stretch out, lunge out. Push back into the calf, make sure you stretch the calves. And then you can grab hold of the leg and do a little thigh stretch as well. All these stretches are good. You can constantly do these in between each exercise if you want. And stretch, calf. Then you've got lunge through the hip. And you've got thigh as well. Well done. Good. Then bringing that chair back over again. So going on to our legs and kicks. So holding on to your chair back on the first side. Actually, I might just position myself on an angle. So you can see me turning out the toes. So you'll be facing square on, but I'm just going to go on an angle. So I'm still square on to my bar. And then you're going to place the foot behind you. Okay. So you're going to swish and point. Swish and point. So you're brushing the floor, passing through that first position, growing tall, pushing through into the floor to give the kick. Then we're going to add in a lunge if you want to. So you're going out and reach, out and lengthen. It doesn't have to be high, just use the power that you've got from underneath the leg. Out and hold it here. Bring the leg into a curtsy and then you're going to go down and kick, plie and kick. So your kick is out diagonally from your hip. So you're bending down straight. Use those legs on a diagonal. Try not to hike into the hip, make it small. Low leg is fine. Use that hand to remind you. Hold it here. Then you're going to turn slightly inward towards your bar. Chair. <laughs> Place your forearm on the chair top. Extend the leg out behind you. So your hips are looking down to the floor. A slight tuck through the pelvis. Lean forward, pull in through the tummy and lift, tuck. So the back of the leg lifts and taps. So you're not thinking about height, you're using your glutes here and stabilising on your underneath side as well. Shoulders down, lengthen the spine, hold it up, pull it in and stretch, bend, pull in and stretch, in and out, in and out. A bit low and watch those hips don't hike. Four, three, two, last one, and finish. Take that leg across, now you're square on, and then take a side bend over towards the chair. Reach forward, come back up, and centre. Well done. On to the other side, we'll do another stretch as well after that whole other side. So on an angle, you can really feel that in that supporting leg actually. So really controlled movement through the hip stabilizers. Okay, hopefully you can see me. Okay, turn the toes out, bring that foot in front. Actually bring it behind. Swish and tap. So keep the eye gaze forward, hips are forward, push through first position and grow tall and don't think about the height of the leg. Loosen up through the hips, ready to add a lunge if you want. Forward, out. arm comes forward as the leg goes back. Hold it here. Bring it into a curtsy, upright position with the body. Relax through the arm. You're going to kick on a diagonal. Plie, down. Down. Watch 
watch that hip doesn't lift up. So press it down almost with the hand to remind you. Try and keep the tension from the shoulder. Four more. And last one. Hold it back. Pivot slightly inward, diagonally towards your chair. Rest your forearm on the top of the chair. Extend the back leg, but bend the underneath leg. Do a little tuck with the pelvis, pull in, lean forward, lift. Don't go into the lower back, you're firing up the glutes to lift the leg. Supporting underneath glute is also working. I forgot how many we did on this side. Anyway, keep going. <laughs> Four more, that feels about right. Plie in, plie, extend. Don't lift that hip, keep the hips level. Four more, let's say. <laughs> Two more, and last one. Take that leg across, side bend over towards the chair. Then lean forward, stick the bottom out behind you. Stretch that underneath leg into the hip, back over and centre. Then what you can do, again stretching those glutes, you can take one leg over the thigh. You can do this facing the chair if you want to with both hands on the chair. Sit down, stretch through the hip and glute. Other side. It's a really nice stretch, similar to the one you would do on the floor on the mat class. If you're doing any hip and glute stretches and release. Well done. Right, so we're now going to go into parallel, just working again through the thighs, strengthening the legs, knees, ankle joints. So we are on the bar again, the chair. You can face the chair completely if you like. We're not going to do two sides, it's just once. So I'll face the diagonal so that you can see the positioning that I'm doing through the legs. So you could hold on with two hands if you wanted to. I'm just going to have one hand on the hip. You're going to bend the knees, okay, and then lift the heels. Put the heels down at any time if you feel it's too much. And then just do a little pulse. Tiny, as I say, you're tracking the knees forward. You're sliding the back down a flat wall, pulling the tummy in. Keeping it small, shoulders are down into your back pockets. And a light touch on the chair. Hold it here. And you're tucking, release. Tuck under, release. So the pelvis is moving independently. So you're getting that pubic bone forward, then back, under, and back. Good. Eight more, going under. Really contract, feel the ribs move towards the hips and vice versa. Four more, you'll feel the thighs starting to kick in. Keep it low. Five, six, seven. Hold it here, tap the knees, knees, knees. This is where it kicks in. Good. Eight more. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Five, six, seven, eight. Go down, lift, squeeze, release. Drop, lift. Touch, release. Oh, this is where it hurts, <laughs> in a good way. Slow, go quick. Down, lift, tap. Four more, and you're done. Almost. <laughs> and finish. Oh, stretch. Good. You can do that thigh stretch if that helps. Lengthen out. Watch the knees here. If it's not suitable, you can do a little lunge tuck instead. Similar to this one. Are you doing a little down and a tuck? You get a stretch here as well. Okay. Now we're going to go into the back line. So here I am going to face the side, as in facing the chair. We're going to place our forearms on the top of the chair. Bend both knees and then lift the leg behind you parallel, keeping those hips looking down at the floor. Flex the foot if you want to, if it's easier. Keep a, a sponge or something squidgy in the back of your knee. 
Lift, lower, lift. Keep everything parallel, look down to the floor. Lift and lower. Push that heel up, bend your supporting leg. Hold it up, pulse, one, two, three. Squeeze your glutes. Push up, keep going, eight. Five, six, seven donkey kicks. Swing it in and push in. Watch the back here. No arching into the lumbar spine. Keep it parallel. Work through the hips. Last one. Bring the knee in, out to the side. In and out. So draw a line with the knee, out to the side. Don't hike in the hips. Your stabilising leg is really working. Hold it out, circle the knee. Round one, two, three, four, other way, and round. I can feel it. Three, and four, and release. Ooh la la. On to the other side. I'll go on the other side, but you can stay where you are, just change legs. Okay, so we'll stretch out afterwards, I promise. Ready? Lift that leg up behind and flex. Lift and down. So this side is going to be harder because obviously the, the leg has been supporting you and already slightly tired. Again, watch that back. Lift, shoulders down, lengthen the spine, keep pulling in. So the leg isn't coming fully in. It's just lifting up and then slightly down. Hold, pulse, small. Keep that knee dropping down to the floor, shoulders down the back. Ooh. Tummy pulls in, ready for your donkey kick. Swing it, forward, in. It's a slight release, so the knee comes more forward this time. Stabilising on that underneath leg. Use the bar on the chair. Hold it in to the side. To the side. So it's like a little flip top lid goes up and down. So you may need to pull the abs in here. Stabilising on that underneath leg again. Hold it out, circle round. One, two, three. Ouch! Four, other way. Last one. Two. Three. Four. And release. Ooh. Round the back. Walk the legs away. Stretch. Again, taking that cross position. That's a really good one to get right in there where you've just worked. Really sit back into it. And other side. Well done. Lovely. And release. Brilliant. Okay, just to finish off, we'll do some stretching. So well done. That's pretty much uh, all the things at the bar. Uh, in the normal class, we'd obviously do some abs and other things like that. But at the moment, I think we'll keep it short, do as much as you can stood up with the bar, and then we'll do a little stretch. So if you just use your chair, as long as it's stable, please just make sure you have full control over this. So for any disasters, take the foot onto the chair fully, jump the back leg out, hold on to the back of the chair, and we take a nice big lunge. So deeper lunge than you would on the floor almost. So you've got that slight resistance, so pushing against something and it's lifted. So holding on, keep the hips straight. Then when you're ready, pull back in the hips and then flex the foot, make sure the foot's on the chair, bring yourself down and stretch. So really let yourself go as much as you can. Make sure the hips are level as much as possible. Drop down into that extended leg hip. And then pull back up. Move to a open position and lunge out with that knee towards the toes and stretch the inner thighs and back up. Take a side bend, over and release, and again, stretch. 
and release through the waist. So, good. On to the other side. You can just change legs, move over to the other side. So, big lunge first. Hips level, knee in line. Hold it here. Stretch the leg, move the foot onto the chair and flex the foot and lower yourself down. Pull the tummy in, drop down into the hip, wiggle around a little bit. Wiggles are good. Coming up, turn out, bend, open out, use the inner thigh and stretch. Bend over to one side. And back, I think I took the arm behind on the other one, but whichever feels comfortable. It's quite nice to the arm in front. And stretch. Well done. Hands behind, open out the chest. And you're done. Well done. Lovely. Thank you for joining me. Hope to see you soon.